Sweetie, I almost didn't see you there. So how's my precious, adorable little angel doing this morning? Aren't you supposed to be at work or something? You are so right, Buffy. I'll just get my hands. That's better. I see you. Darling, what would you like for breakfast? You know what I want. They were out of dark luck cocos, but I got you tasty pebbles instead. They're rainbow flavored. I really hope you don't mind. You should know by now that I am horribly allergic to anything bright and colorful. I'm sorry. Just make me some eggs and bacon, but don't arrange them into a smile like last time. Yes, dear. <laughs> hey, I thought that we would read from something different tonight. Uh, huh? <laughs> okay, um, we'll read from the same thing then. <laughs> Yes, dear. Uh, how's this one? <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and then those convicted of heresy were uh, tortured and burned and executed uh, by the Catholic Church regime. <laughs> Is she asleep yet? I think so. If she sleeps. Well, let's just hope she can't hear us. Hello? I, I'm sorry to be calling so late. May I please speak with Miss Lovejoy? Oh, great. Um, well, uh, we're having some difficulties with our 11-year-old daughter. Uh, yeah, well, interestingly enough, um, this number was actually recommended to us by every single one of our neighbors. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honey, do you think we're doing the right thing? with his nanny here and all? Yes, of course I do. This woman is a trained professional. It's her job to deal with kids like this. She's just what we need to get this household together and back to a normal, fully functioning family. Thank you. <laughs> now, where is that wonderful little girl of yours? Well, I don't know if I would use the word wonderful to describe her. <laughs> oh, nonsense. You know, they say children are our biggest abundance of happiness. Oh. <laughs> now, how bad could she be? <clears throat> She 
She's in here. Oh, aren't you wonderful? You must be Lizzie. That's right. Now who the hell are you? I am Nanny Lovejoy. And I must say, when I was your age, we didn't talk to our grown-ups like that. Lady, in this day and age, we kids say whatever the happy hell we want to. Now, little girl, a sweet thing like you shouldn't talk like that. It's not polite. Like I give a damn about polite. You know, it's funny. My parents never mentioned anything about having a nanny. Well, I'm Nanny Lovejoy. And I'm going to be with you a couple of weeks. And I just know we're going to have so much fun. And I'm sure you can't wait to get a hold of the coloring books I brought. Yeah, I don't think our two definitions of fun exactly meet up here, lady. Nanny, love joy. <laughs> you will address me as Nanny Love Joy. I'll address you however the hell I feel like. Now, little girl, you're trying Nanny's patience. We wouldn't want to get off to a bad start now. Would we? Hello, Lizzie. Oh, is that a doll? I love dolls. I'm just so glad to See you do anything so wholesome. <laughs> Can I see the little sweetheart? Of course. <laughs> I knew you'd like her. Now today, I thought we would... Whew. <laughs> Is it getting warm in here? Oh, my sweet lord. It's so hot in here. Would you excuse me a minute? Oh, wait a second. Why don't you Read that for a minute, and I'll be right back. <sighs> Nanny is just having one of those moments that she has. <laughs> Today I thought that we would try drawing pictures of our emotions. Since obviously you are having a lot of difficulty dealing with them. Can I draw whatever I want? Anything you'd like. All right then. You know what? I think I like this. Do you want me to draw another? Uh, no. That's fine. 
fine. Actually, I think we're just gonna call it a day for today. I'll just come back tomorrow and, uh... Yeah. <sighs> All right. I think it's about time someone taught you some manners. So I went to the store and I bought this. All right. Quick exercise. What do we say when we want to ask for something? Hurry your ass up. No, we say please. Can you say that with me? Please? Lady, what kind of retard do you take me for? Now, little girl, please cooperate. I'm not leaving this spot until you learn to behave. We wouldn't want Nanny to have a nervous breakdown, now would we? <laughs> Little girl, you are damn well going to... Uh, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> lovingly say please whether you like it or not. I don't think so. It's really very easy. It's only one little word. I'm sure that a smart little 11-year-old girl such as yourself could handle that. Nope. All right. I'll just come back tomorrow. I'm sure you'll be ready to say it by then. Now, Lizzie, are you ready to say the word that we were working on yesterday? Yes, Nanny Lovejoy. I've learned the error of my distasteful ways. It's about damn time something went right. Just like right now, where I'm asking you to please get hit by a damn car so I never have to deal with another one of your stupid lessons again, or inhale all the god-awful chemicals from your dollar store hairspray, or put up with the blinding glare of your cheap-ass drag makeup. Nanny. All right, young lady, that is it. I have had enough! I'm going to miss her. <laughs> 